Hey everyone, James here. Today I wanna to talk about how you can get this brand new awesome application to help you manage your virtual desktops and Windows inside of Windows 10. Uh, if you don't know what actual virtual desktops are, they're pretty fantastic. They're one of my favorite features of Mac OS and with Windows 10, they came along for the ride. Essentially what they enable you to do is create multiple you know, desktops. <laughs> That's kind of generic in a way of saying it, but multiple snapshots of desktops on your PC. So for instance, this is a current desktop. I have um, you know, Visual Studio that I'm launching. I have GitHub that I'm launching. I have uh, Notepad that I'm launching. This is my current desktop. But the idea is that I have multiple of them. So when I um, hit Windows tab, that's gonna do this normal flyout mode that you're probably used to, which all of the open apps are. But then we see these desktops on the bottom. So these are my other desktops. And as I hover over them, I have a few tabs that are open. Let's go ahead and add a new one. We'll add desktop four. And if I zoom into it, guess what? It's blank. And I just see all my stuff on my desktop, my, des my messy, messy desktop. If I now go control tab again, I can go back to my desktop. I can like drag and drop this GitHub over here if I wanted to. But at the same time, I'm kind of zooming in and out a lot. So let me introduce you to Peach. When you go to peachapp.net, it's gonna be your one-stop shop to get Peach. In fact, it's just one button that you click and you can do a fair price of $10 plus on. Uh, and that's what I've done. This is made by an awesome friend of mine, awesome developer, I'm super excited. And you can read the blog here on the, the Peach blog to learn more about the actual application. But what's cool is you download it, you install it, it's up and running in just a few minutes. So let's actually walk through some of the features. So let's go ahead and minimize a bunch of this stuff, blah, 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 blah. And here's Peach. Peach is always running down in the bottom. You can have it start at run up, uh, run at startup or not. And there's a few functions built right in that I'm gonna walk through. So the first thing here are some desktop shortcuts. Easily you can toggle between your uh, last uh, desktop by just saying control alt backspace. And you see now it's gone, boom, boom. Just kind of cool. If I do control, shalt, control alt shift backspace, I actually walk through all of my different desktops, which is really cool. Um, probably one of my favorites though, is the ability to just say control alt and new one, two, three. Let's put something else on this desktop. We'll put edge on this desktop so it looks a little bit better. Four, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's really fast, which is super cool. Let's go back to one, there we go. This one happens to be probably my favorite. Uh, well, there's a lot of favorite features here. Let's say I'm working on this notepad uh, right here. What I can actually do is send it to another desktop, uh, which, which I simply love. So it says move window to another one. So I'm gonna say control alt, control alt shift, and I'm gonna send this to desktop four. Boom, it's gone. Now, if I just simply say control alt four, there it is. One, four, one, four, one, four. Super cool, right? And I can move it back to one by control alt shift one, control alt one, back to one, super cool. But then the idea is that that's just a way of moving things around desktop. How do I actually kind of become really productive? Because often I might be working on something and I want my Slack on all of my desktops or you know, I, I now can manage and go through, I can say, well, this is my, this is my, my, my mobile development environment, right? Because maybe I'm over here and I'm like, oh, Visual Studio, I want, you know, control alt, Four, and boom, it's over there now, right? It's over on four or whatever. Um, sorry, control shift, control alt shift four, boom, it's gone. Control alt four, boom, it's over there. It's kind of bananas how fast everything works too. But what if I want to scale and put that actual window on all of my desktops? This is probably one of my favorite features. So let's take this actual view and put it over there. So this one's a little bit longer. It's control alt shift P. Now you don't actually see anything, but what's cool here is if I actually um, not zoom out, but if I go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, notice that it's all there. If I control alt shift P again, and do control one, two, three, four, it just leaves it to where it was, which is super cool. It go ahead and it transfers that desktop super seamless, puts your windows wherever you want. You can toggle between everything super fast. I highly customize this. I've only just had this for like the last 30, 45 minutes. I wanted this video because I'm already blown away by it. You can head over to peachapp.net, uh, get it, download it, be super productive with your virtual desktops on Windows 10. Till next time, I'm James Montemagno. Follow my blog, follow me on Twitter at James Montemagno and subscribe to this page for more awesomeness all the time. Peace.